Hello and welcome back to Teacher Tycoon. Here I make videos on teaching and lifestyle. This video is a continuation of the environment and us. The part 1 of this video was been posted 2 days ago. So wasting any time, let's get started and let's see what's there in this video. In the part 1 video, we had discussed that all the living things, let it be humans, plants, animals, insects, birds, aquatic animals or even microorganisms all are dependent on each other for survival due to human intervention in nature large scale changes are taking place in air water and land also these non living things or abiotic components are getting polluted what are abiotic components abiotic components are the non living components for example like soil rock water air these are all non living or abiotic components as a result the existence of living things is threatened while several living things have already become extinct do you know any animal that has been extinct if you know so please comment down below extinct means the animal which is which were which were living on this earth before but now they are not if one factor of the environment is damaged its relationship with the other factor also gets affected and environment balance is disturbed from time to time some of the living things on the earth became extinct one of the example of extinct animal is the mammoth but today this process is taking place at much faster rate this is a threat for the whole living world food water and clothes are needs of all people we use a lot of things to meet these needs besides we use many means and devices for the purpose of studies sports hobbies and entertainment we even stock up these things so that they will be available to us whenever we need them all these things are obtained by using materials from our environment all the people in the world have similar needs and desires as a result the environment is being degraded rapidly we need to be aware that we ourselves are a part of nature the balance of the nature is disturbed it will adversely affect the humans too we need to take steps to prevent degradation of the environment the steps should mainly include using our means easily and recycling used articles several projects are been implemented at international level to maintain the balance in nature many countries of the world are enacting the laws that will help to prevent pollution of air water and soil for example many countries have pollution control act Some of the countries have compulsory rules to for the chemical factories to clean their water to treat their water before letting it to the water bodies. It is important to raise awareness among the people all over the world about the environmental imbalance. For this globally many days are been celebrated as to create awareness among the people. Some of the days are the earth day the world water day the ocean day ozone day sparrow day world forest day etc biodiversity an area which is reserved for the purpose of protecting and conserving the biodiversity of a region is called a biodiversity park what what do you mean by bio bio means life and diversity means variety different so what do you mean biodiversity together variety of life a place a place an area where different type of animals insects birds plants trees all are there together and that is been conserved and protected by our government so that is called a biodiversity park the next is the national park now what's a national park a national park is a park or an area of a land officially recognized and 
and protected by nation's government means that area is under the government the government of that country national parks are often made to protect animals that live inside them or the land itself there are many national parks in the world centuries so certain forest area are reserved for the protection and conservation of a particular animal or a plant such a reserved area is called a century for example gandhagari century for bison if the plants on the earth are destroyed the number of animals will also fall that is why it is necessary to protect plants in the forest if deforestation is stopped and instead tree plantation is stepped up animals that depend on plants will get protection and thrive can you name some animals which are which are completely dependent on plants you can comment down below mayani lake has formed due to a dam built on the chanda river in the satara district flamingos from siberia region in the north asia migrate to this lake here they build nest and lay eggs Once the baby bird grows big enough they return with them to Siberia In the recent past as the water level in the dam has fallen the flamingo had stopped coming However the lake has been now declared a sanctuary for birds This is an example of a complete relationship of a abiotic factor that is water or a lake with the living thing that is a flamingo for this reason it is very important to protect the abiotic component maharashtra strait has declared the nanaj area indian bustard deer are also found in these grasslands about 50 kilometers from pune on the pune ahmednagar highway the village of morachi chincholi is a famous for its peacock population it also attracts lots of tourists nowadays this place is covered with tamarind trees which made it it favorable for these birds peafowl have found a sanctuary in this village next we are going to look at devrai a boon for all the living creatures Indian culture gives importance to the protection of forest. The Devrai is an example. People believe that a Devrai is really a jungle reserved for God. It was believed that it is a jungle where gods are living. Where the gods are living. So, where there are gods, we can't harm the trees and the plants. So, no trees or plants in a Devrai is ever cut. that is why all the trees in a devrai are safe even today maharashtra have many devrais in madhya pradesh they are also known as sharan van devrai gives shelter not only to plants but also to the animals that live there hence devrai can be called as centuries of ancient times